CSF circulation daily production of CSF is about 500 ml per day but at any point of time volume of CSF present is only 150 ml so daily turnover of CSF is roughly about three times so where is this CSF present it is present in the ventricles cisterns subarachnoid space around brain and spinal cord and also in the central canal of spinal cord what are these cisterns cisterns are nothing but widened subarachnoid spaces in areas where pia matter and arachnoid matter membrane are not in close approximation csf is produced about two-third of it is produced by the choroid plexus present in all four ventricles but mainly two lateral ventricles in addition small amount is also from extracoroidal sources like ventricular walls and perivascular spaces sagittal section of brain this is lateral ventricle two lateral ventricles one on both sides third ventricle fourth ventricle choroid plexus is present in the walls of the lateral ventricles roof of third ventricle and fourth ventricle so what happens inside the ventricular cavity this is choroid plexus project choroid plexus projects into the ventricular cavity this is ventricular cavity filled with the CSF and these are ependymal cells lining the ventricles and choroid plexus is nothing but blood vessel covered by a layer of modified ependymal cells with tight junctions and choroid plexus produces CSF in two steps first step is filtration of plasma across choroidal capillary endothelium second step is secretion of ions and water across the choroidal ependymal cells so CSF is produced by the choroid plexus of lateral ventricles it flows into the third ventricle by passing through foramen of Monroe and then small amount of CSF is added by the choroid plexus of third ventricle then it flows into the fourth ventricle by passing through aqueduct of Sylvius from the fourth ventricle that is CSF exits the fourth ventricle by three routes one is through foramen of Lushka these are two lateral, upper, lateral apertures into the cerebellopontine system and then second route is through foramen of Magenti this is single aperture on the medial side from that CSF flows into through the foramen into cisterna magna third route that is small amount enters the central canal of spinal cord These systems, these systems are continuous with the subarachnoid space around brain and spinal cord. So CSF flows into the subarachnoid space around brain and spinal cord. CSF circulates and a 
ultimately the CSF travels upwards through the subarachnoid space around the cerebrum till it reaches arachnoid granulations. These are arachnoid granulations. Arachnoid granulation is nothing but protrusion of arachnoid membrane which pierces the dura mater and it protrudes into the venous sinuses. They contain multiple smaller outpouchings called arachnoid villi. So CSF flows through the arachnoid granulations into venous sinuses thereby getting absorbed into venous blood. And small amount is also absorbed into cervical lymphatics by passing via cribriform plate. So summarizing CSF from the produced by the choroid plexus of lateral ventricles through foramen of Munro flows into third ventricle and then through aqueduct of Sylvius into fourth ventricle. From the fourth ventricle, there are three routes to foramen of Lushka. These foramens are on the lateral side, one on each side. Medial foramen of Magenti. And small amount into the central canal of spinal cord. From the foramen of Lushka into CFSA flows into cerebellopontine system. From foramen, through foramen of Magenti into cisterna magna. And then CSF flows around subarachnoid space of brain and spinal cord. And through arachnoid granulations, CSF is absorbed into venous sinuses.